you join me today at Chester Railway Station. Today we're going to be looking for a Mersey Rail Class 507 electric multiple unit because Mersey Rail just repainted 507001 in the BR Blue livery. And we're going to try and track that down today as I'm on a Mersey Rail day saver to stop off at a few stations along the way. So I'm now on the 1027 Bursley Rail service to well it goes to Chester by Liverpool Central and the 777 that one is 777011 and this will take us to our first location Bromber Kate oh sorry Bromber Rake so we can try and find 507001 at Bromber Rake station So we have now made it to the first station. I'm only stopping off here for 30 minutes to see if we can try and find 507001 in that BR Blue livery. Unfortunately, I think Class 777s rule the Ellesmere Port and Chester services now. So I don't think we're going to get that here. But this is Bromber Kate. Sorry, Bromber Rake. And honestly, this station was built by British Rail in 1985. But it's also one of three stations in Bromborough, as there's Bromborough and Spittal as well. So I'm now waiting for the 11.25 Mersey Rail service to Liverpool Central. Now I was going to go to Port Sunlight next and have half an hour Port Sunlight but to be honest I think I've seen what I've seen at Bromber Rake and it's all triple seven so we're going to skip Bromber Rake and go straight to Hamilton Square next so I can have a look at the West Kirby and the new Brighton lines to see if I can find that 507 on that stretch of track. So I'm now on platform 3 at Hamilton Square and I'm waiting for the 12 o'clock Mersey Bell service. Now I was going to go to Birkenhead North and have the full hour there but instead I'm actually going to one of my favourite stations on the Mersey Bell network, Bidston. So I'm waiting for this train now, hopefully it's 507001 but I'm not too sure to be honest and let's head to Bidston to try and find it. So we have now made it to Bidston, one of my favourite stations on the Mersey Rail network. And also Transport for Wales services start here with services on the Borders landline to Exham Central. But I have come here to try and find 507001 in that BR Blue livery. Like in a few days ago I've seen photos of it on the West Kirby line, but hopefully you can see it on the West Kirby line. So I haven't found 507001 yet, but I have found a Class 508 EMU because in December they're on their way out. 
But let's talk about Bidston Station because it opened by the Hoylake Railway in 1866, but it closed in 1870. It reopened in 1872, but then closed again in 1890, and then reopened in 1896 as a junction station. So we see this PEP that's coming in now, see if this is 507001 because I think it's on West Kirby, so I'm not too sure. It is. That's 507001 there. Found it. Now, to be honest, I did actually have this plan to visit substations on the Wheel Line and substations on the Northern Line today, but since 507001, because we found it, is on the West Kirby services, I think I'm going to be staying on the West Kirby Line most of the day now. So I'm going to wait for it to come back, I'm going to board it, I'm going to take a ride to Hoy Lake on it, because there is a lovely Art Deco station building at Hoy Lake that I want to see. So we have now made it to Hoy Lake. This station opened in 1866 by the Hoy Lake Railway, but the extension to West Kirby, which is the next station down the line, didn't happen until 1878. But the reason I've come to Hoy Lake is because I want to catch that for class 507, 507001 with the station building. The station building dates from 1938. It's a lovely Art Deco station building designed by William Henry Hamlin. So hopefully try and get the 507 arriving into Hoy Lake with the station building behind it as a backdrop. However though, trains do pass here so there could be potential bowlage to try and get this shot. Also at Hoy Lake Station, it does have a level crossing as well, which is lovely to see. Do love a good level crossing, to be honest. But one day I shall come back and explore the line between Bidston and West Kirby to have a look at all the stations en route. But for now, we're going to be leaving on the 1354 Mersey Rail service and head back towards Liverpool. Well, I'm going to head back towards Birkenhead because I'm going to try and get 507001 next at Conway Park. So we're going to board the 1354 service and head to Conway Park. So we just made it to Conway Park now, 507001 should be arriving very shortly so we get another shot of it at this railway station. So I've just changed platforms at Conway Park to head towards Birkhead North now. And I've just noticed level one. Is this a railway station or car park? Seriously. One of the strangest stations I've ever been to, but it's a nice station to be honest. Really nice and strange.
So after Colway Park, I've decided to come to lift on platform <laughs> game sheets, which serves all whittle bounds. <laughs> so after visiting Colway Park to get 507001, I've actually come to Birkenhead North. Now I was planning to do this earlier, but went to Bidston instead. Because I did have a plan to visit Bromber Rake, Port Sunlight, Birkenhead North, and I was going to go to Bank Hall and Brunswick. But when I saw 507001 at Bidston, I thought, well, I might as well just spend the day on the Wirral line chasing that up and down. So we are waiting for 507001 to come into Birkenhead North. I've also got uh, Ryan with me here. Hello. You alright? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm alright, thanks. Good, good. You're here chasing 507001? Yeah, got nothing else to do. Yeah. So just swap platforms at Birkenhead North and we're going to wait for 507001 to arrive. It's due at about 10 past 3 and we're going to take it into Liverpool. I think more likely that I'll be going to Liverpool Central on this. So let's get arriving now. Let's take one more journey on 507001. So I'm now outside Liverpool Central Station and honestly today chasing 507001 has really been brilliant because it, the plan wasn't to chase it today, it was just trying to find it but once I found it on the West Kirby services I've just chased it up and down that stretch of line to be honest and it has really been epic seeing that unit in that BR Blue livery it's not the authentic BR Blue livery, it's close as because it has to be complied with some of the regulations, like with the white doors and all that. But there's another unit, a PEP, that actually has been preserved, which is in the BR Blue livery, that's 313201, also known as Big Blue. Well, today we just see Big Blue 2. But if you want to watch a video with 313201 in it, I suggest you watch this one here. Feel free to give that a click. The people on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trace, thank you very much for watching, stay safe, I'll see you for the Gloss Up Line next week.